Okay, so before we head to the bookstore, um, I listed my school supplies that I would need so I would know what I really need and what I don't need. So this is my main essentials that I need to buy and don't mind the socks and sandals, I just listed it so if my mom asks what clothes do I need, I just need to ask her about that. So mainly I just need a notebook, two big binders, regular sticky notes, a black ball pen, and a yellow pad so at least I won't have to waste time thinking what I need to buy and if there's anything I would need to buy that's extra, I would just bring my own money. So yeah. Look at all those cute notebooks! I swear this is gonna be the hardest thing to do. Choose just one notebook out of all those cute, cute, extremely cute notebooks. I swear, I want to get the whole National Bookstore because of the notebooks and the books. Okay, I'm having a hard time to choose which Hello Kitty notebook. I've like got 30 notebooks and I've come down to this thing since the Hello Kitties are pretty cute. So, which one should I get? Can't I just get both of them? Okay, I'm gonna choose this. Found the set of yellow pad. I'm struggling not to buy these files. So finally the Stabilo Pen 68 has arrived and I've waited for like 3 months so I am gonna get this since I only have enough money to buy just a Stabilo Pen 68 and nothing more. this binder and I am gonna get another one of these binders. It's the 1.5 inch binder. I'm gonna be taking this pen since it's compatible with my other MMG since it's 0.35 millimeters. This is the part where my self-control will be tested on whether or not I should get one of these stuff cause they are so amazing. Have you seen their new paper maker sign? I am totally liking the new look. I am so in love with this tumbler. And look at all those Japanese style lunch boxes. And they also have those thermos. In. So nice. binder notebooks and you can only see this in the Philippines like a hard cover notebook and like you just buy one filler and that's basically a notebook so basically this notebook can hold like up to eight of this filler and if you run out you can just like buy them separately so it will save you much more money. 
So, I just finished doing my school supply shopping and I've actually got a free echo bag because we there was a promo that if we spent a specific number um, we will get a free echo bag and I've actually got quite a bit so I'll just show you what I got. So the first thing I got is a 1.5 inch binder and it's the Comics View binder. So this is how it looks like. And I've got this because um, I need to store like my one binder for my math for my 11th grade, then one for science 11th grade. And then I have a spare binder um, that's for my English, Filipino, and history since they can all fit in one binder. So this binder can um, can hold up can hold my notes from first to fourth quarter, my practice worksheets, um, and my test papers. So that's why I got such a big binder. And um, I've also got the same kind. Um, I'm just going to put it in the spine if it's like math 11, science 11, so that I'll be able to distinguish it. So the next item I have here is a sticky note. It's just a regular one since I've already used up um, all of my regular sticky notes. So there wasn't any yellow, so I just had to go with the pastel thing, but it looks quite nice. So, next item I got is this cute Hello Kitty notebook. So, um, I needed a practice notebook when I'm at home. Like this, I have another one for math. This is for science. And, of course, it has got to be cute. And I like the paper because there are like approximately 80 leaves. And that's really a lot. Plus, the paper looks like good quality. And plus, it's so cute! Who could resist this cute Hello Kitty notebook? And um, this is my yellow pad since um, when you start 11th grade, um, you need to use a yellow pad instead of my normal white intermediate pad. Um, the yellow pad compared to the intermediate, well, it's yellow and it's longer this looks like the size of a long bond paper and um yellow pad is normally used from 11th grade till college here in the philippines and normally in math and science training they also use yellow pad so i had to get myself a pack of yellow pad the last thing that i got um no not the last thing the second to the last thing i got myself um, is the Snabelo Pen 68 and I've been waiting for it to come to the Philippines in, since they first released the Snabelo Point 88. But the thing is, um, I can't, I, you cannot see it here but like in the pens there's like creases, like cracks. So I don't know whether it's because of the shipping or it's really like that but um, it's quite sad but at the same time I'm not, I'm gonna try to not think about it since it's the pen I'm buying and not for the outward I'm just gonna use it like a highlighter or some marking so yeah and the last thing I got myself is a 0 0.38 black ball pen um, it's quite blurry right now, but it's a 0 0.38, so this is the only pen in the whole national book so that's 0 0.38 since you can't find that much 0 0.38 pens here, the most is 0 0.5. So I got this 0 0.38 because I broke one of my other pens, it had 0 0.38. So my, ref my refills from MNG are 0 0.38, so of course it can't fit on 0 0.5. Um, Pens, so I just got myself this black gel pen and it came with a cute doggy. And um that's what I got from my from my from National. 
so guys um thank you guys for watching this video i'm sorry if i couldn't talk that much because i'm still like shy when vlogging outside of my house it's still like a lot of people watching me but i hope you to like what i made um i hope you guys are enjoying the summer since i know most of you guys go back on september or late august but i go back on um august too and i hope you get to see what um a philippine bookstore is like they have like all kinds of stuff i didn't even vlog the books area yet because i had no more time and um the bookstores there are not generally big in philippines i just want the biggest one every time it's back to school because all the stuff there is always stuck up so yeah comment down below when you guys go to school and what are you excited about for this school year so I hope you guys like this video and I'll be in this upcoming video a what's in my backpack where you can see what um, essentials I bring to school as an 11th grade student. So yeah, hope you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel um, to never miss a notification and hit the bell button. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!